Hey, beautiful souls, ever found yourself caught up in things you never intended to do? Picture this, unseen forces playing puppeteer with your destiny. Stick around because today we're diving into a topic that unveils the secrets of four evil spirits you absolutely need to avoid. It's time for a spiritual revelation. Greetings, cherished viewers. A warm welcome to the word of life, your sanctuary for spiritual enlightenment. I'm genuinely excited to embark on this profound journey with you delving into the ocean of spiritual insights that can reshape our lives. In today's exploration, we're not merely scratching the surface. We're diving deep into the unseen realms that often go unnoticed. Our mission to unravel the mysteries behind the subtle yet powerful forces that target God's children, exploiting the gaps in our understanding. Brace yourselves as we shine a light on the spirit of fornication, the lying spirit, the spirit of the world, and the spirit of disobedience. These are not just abstract concepts, they are spiritual entities with real implications on our lives. As we uncover their nature and tactics, we empower ourselves to stand against their influence. It's a journey of revelation, empowerment, and most importantly, a journey toward a deeper connection with our spiritual selves. So fasten your seatbelts, dear friends, because what lies ahead is not just a video. It's a transformative experience. Together, let's navigate the currents of spirituality and emerge stronger, wiser, and more connected to the divine. The adventure is about to begin. Are you ready for the enlightenment that awaits? Welcome back, seekers of truth, as we dive into the heart of our exploration, navigating the treacherous currents of these malevolent entities. Each holds a unique challenge, but armed with spiritual wisdom we can conquer. Let's embark on this enlightening journey, drawing inspiration from the timeless narratives within the Bible. Let us talk about our first adversary, the spirit of fornication, a deceptive force aiming to lead us into the shadows of sexual immorality, desecrating the sacred covenant of intimacy. Delve into the story of Joseph, a man of unwavering faith, as narrated in Genesis chapter 39. In the face of relentless advances from Potiphar's wife, Joseph stood firm, a beacon of resistance against the allure of sin. His story serves as a testament to the strength and resilience we can find in our faith. When confronted with the challenges posed by the spirit of fornication, let the words of Matthew chapter 10 verse 1 resonate within you. And he called to him his twelve disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal every disease and every affliction. Through Jesus, we are bestowed with the authority to cast out unclean spirits, including the insidious grip of the spirit of fornication. Additionally, 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 18 provides a clear directive. Flee from sexual immorality. Every other sin a person commits is outside the body, but the sexually immoral person sins against his own body. This scripture reinforces the importance of actively resisting the temptations associated with the spirit of fornication. As we navigate the tumultuous waters of this spiritual battle, let the lessons from Joseph's story and the empowering verses guide us toward victory over the shadows that seek to compromise our sacred commitments. Stay tuned for more insights into navigating the complexities of these spiritual adversaries. Now, let's journey deeper into the treacherous realm of the lying spirit, a cunning deceiver whose aim is to weave a web of falsehoods, ultimately sabotaging our lives. Drawing lessons from the sacred pages of the Bible, we find narratives that serve as both cautionary tales and sources of strength. In Acts 5, we encounter the harrowing account of Ananias and Sapphira, a couple who fell prey to the insidious grasp of the lying spirit. They conspired to deceive the early Christian community and lied about the proceeds of a sale of their property. Their tragic end serves as a stark warning about the consequences of succumbing to the deceptive whispers of this malevolent force. The severity of their punishment underscores the gravity of the battle against lies and deceit. 
As we navigate through the hazards of deception, Proverbs chapter 12, verse 22 becomes our guiding light. The Lord detests lying lips, but he delights in people who are trustworthy. This timeless wisdom reminds us that honesty is not just a virtue. It is a divine command. When we uphold truth and integrity, we fortify ourselves against the assaults of the lying spirit. In our daily struggles, we must recognize the subtleties of falsehoods and half-truths that the lying spirit employs. Ananias and Sapphira's story prompts us to reflect on the consequences of dishonesty within our own lives and communities by adhering to God's command of truthfulness. We build a shield against the machinations of the lying spirit, fostering an environment of trust and righteousness. As we delve further into our exploration, let this revelation about the lying spirit and the power of honesty resonate within. Stay with us on this journey as we unravel more profound insights into combating the spiritual forces that seek to undermine the foundation of our faith. Now let's unravel the intricacies of our next adversary, the spirit of the world, a cunning foe that entices through the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. Drawing wisdom from the biblical narrative, we find a profound lesson in Jesus' encounter with Satan's temptations in the wilderness, as vividly recounted in Matthew chapter 4. Picture the vast, desolate wilderness where Jesus, fasting for forty days and nights, faced the cunning tempter. Satan, capitalizing on Jesus' physical hunger, appealed to the lust of the flesh by suggesting he turned stones into bread. Yet Jesus countered with the timeless truth that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word from the mouth of God. Next, Satan tempted Jesus by showing him all the kingdoms of the world, appealing to the lust of the eyes. The adversary promised worldly power and authority if only Jesus would worship him. However, Jesus, unwavering, responded, Be gone, Satan, for it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only shall you serve. Lastly, Satan sought to exploit the pride of life by urging Jesus to throw himself down from the pinnacle of the temple, asserting the protection of angels. Jesus, quoting scripture again, declared again, It is written, You shall not put the Lord your God to the test. Now, let's connect this profound lesson to James chapter 4, verse 4, where we are sternly warned, You adulterous people! Do you not know that friendship with the world is enmity with God? Therefore, whoever wishes to be a friend of the world makes himself an enemy of God. This cautionary tale reminds us that succumbing to the temptations of the world jeopardizes our relationship with the divine. By resisting these allures inspired by Jesus' triumphant stand in the wilderness, we align ourselves with God's will, securing our spiritual integrity. Stay vigilant, for the battle against the spirit of the world is ongoing, and our victory lies in steadfast faith and obedience to God's word. Now, let's delve into the depths of the spirit of disobedience, a cunning force that manipulates minds and leads us away from the divine path. This adversary carries a grave consequence, as illustrated through the poignant story of Korah's rebellion in Numbers 16. In Numbers 16, Korah, along with Dathan and Abiram, rebelled against the leadership of Moses and Aaron. Their disobedience was a direct challenge to the authority established by God. The consequences were swift and severe as the earth opened up, swallowing them and their households. This serves as a stark reminder of the perilous outcomes that disobedience can unleash upon our lives. The scriptures provide clarity on the importance of obedience. In 1 Samuel chapter 15 verse 22, Samuel declares, Does the Lord delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as much as in obeying the Lord? To obey is better than sacrifice, and to heed is better than the fat of rams. Obedience is not merely a set of actions. It reflects the posture of the heart towards God's will. Fear not, for in the face of the spirit of disobedience, we are not left defenseless. 
Jesus, through his sacrifice and resurrection, has bestowed upon us the power to combat these wicked spirits in Hebrews chapter 4, verse 15 to 16. We find solace, for we do not have a high priest who is unable to empathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who has been tempted in every way, just as we are yet he did not sin. Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Armed with the strength and grace provided by Jesus, we can stand firm against the allure of disobedience. As we continue our journey, let this be a beacon of hope, reminding us that through obedience to God's word, we find not only safety but also the fullness of life promised by our Creator. In these biblical narratives, we find guidance and strength to confront these evil spirits. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the ways of liberation and triumph over the forces that seek to ensnare our spirits. The journey continues, illuminated by the timeless wisdom of the scriptures. Before we wrap up, I invite you to continue this journey of spiritual growth. Click on another video, explore more revelations, and let's walk this path together. Stay blessed, and until next time, keep seeking the truth. Thank you for joining us on The Word of Life. Remember, it's not just a video. It's a conversation that shapes our spiritual journey. See you in the next episode.